Do you know what Leo's thinking? Probably not. But when I saw that this was the song he was going to do, I was super excited. This is Huey Lewis and the News' Hip to be Square from 1987. I was a kid. I was 11 years old. This is one of my favorite songs. Leo, Frog Leap Studios. Will he make it better? Let's find out. <laughs> Hey everybody, my name is Old School Nerd. Check us out on OldSchoolNerd.com. It's got all of our social media posts, the Patreon link for those who want to support the channel, the Discord link for those who want to jump in there and get all stupid, and the merchandise store. Hey, everyone. It's Leo Maracchioli time. Frog Leap Studios. It's YouTube Content Creator Fridays. And I gotta be honest with you, I want to tell you something that happened this morning that now has me kind of freaked out. Leo posts earlier on Instagram that... He's doing another uh, another cover, and it's a metal cover, and it's from the 80s, and it showed a picture of the glasses with the tape on it, and he's doing this little pose, but he doesn't tell you what the song is. And I'm like, man, what song from the 80s could he be doing? And I kid you not, as I was scrolling through Instagram after that, it came across, you know, they do those reels. The reel that showed up was this one. Well, a more than this, but this was one of the things that came up. In 87, Huey released this for their most accomplished album. I think their undisputed masterpiece is Hip to Be Square. That scene from American Psycho showed up, populated on my Instagram. The whole thing where he's talking to Alan, he's putting the raincoat on, and he's being all goofy before he commits the murder. That reel was on my Instagram, and I don't know why. And it's just really crazy that three hours later, I, Leo releases the cover and it's this song. Coincidence? Who knows? It's got me kind of freaked out a little bit. But maybe it was just meant to be. Maybe it was fate. I don't know. Make sure you check out all of the Leo Maracchioli Frog Leap Studio information down below in the description. Please go to his channel. Give him a like, a subscribe notification bell the whole nine yards in fact if you appreciate what we're doing here please do me a favor and put a like and and also if you're gonna put a like do me a favor and subscribe to the channel make sure you hit the notification bell that's the only way i can 100 percent positively guarantee you're gonna see the stuff that's coming out i put out content every day but a lot of people are saying old school are you putting stuff out dude every day you should subscribe okay Anyway, let's stop talking. Let's get into this. Here it is. The classic from 1987, Hip to be Square by Huey Lewis in the News, the Leo Maracchioli metal cover from Frog Leap Studios. Frog Leap, Frog Leap Studios. Sorry. Do it. I do like how he's using a directional mic for his uh, vocals on this one. Kind of gives it that nostalgic 80s look to it. Um, also, uh, the tempo is slightly elevated. I'm not saying it's, it's a big increase, but the beats per minute are a little higher than the original. Also, it sounds like the key, it's keyed up a little bit, a little, uh, slightly higher key, more comfortable for Leo. Um, but I'm, I'm loving everything about this so far. Classic Leo heaviness on it. 
He's using a strat, which is great because it still gives you that texture that you expect. Uh, I don't expect a horn section because it's not his style, but with Leo, you never really know because he is insane in a great Norwegian metal way. It's true. I'm only going to stop it here, and, and this will probably be the last time I stop it till the outro, and this is why. I know this song right frontwards and backwards. I learned how to play it on the kit drum because it's a very simple four on the floor song to learn. It's a classic rock song. Um, Leo does a very good job, and I've said this many, many times before. No matter which artist he's doing a cover of, usually the first half of the song, he sticks to the original arrangement, the original composition of the, of the um, artist. Granted, his music, musical instruments are more of an overdrive, distortion guitar. The drums are usually a little bit harder. You're, for like this one, you're not going to hear the horn section or the you know the a, a lot of the keyboard so much because he's keeping it kind of a metal feel but as far as the beat the structure pretty much honoring the original which i love but i know that this song verse chorus verse chorus this is where the song usually has kind of a bridge little little bit of a solo upkeep before the reprisal chorus this is usually where leo goes you know what i've paid homage to huey lewis in the news Everyone knows I did that. I've stayed within there to honor their, their great effort in their art. Now it's time for me to do, I'm gonna Leo the crap out of this. And he does. Here's the question. If you're here in the live premiere, answer this question. Leo breakdown, Leo guitar solo, or both? It's usually one of the three. That's the question. If you're watching this reaction, you have three seconds to give me your answer. Answers put in. Let's see who wins. That's not. It's not a real statement. We all win. It's a Leo cover. Guitar solo. That's pretty good. What are you doing? If you answered C, both, you win. Guitar solo and now the Leo breakdown. I want to bring it back when he pulled his, his pants up. That, that was a creepy thought. He has very white legs. He's Norwegian. Blinded me.
That's not a Leo breakdown. That's actually in the original song. Thank you. Thank you for that. Okay, we're going to go into the outro, but if I had known that Leo was doing this song, and if he had asked me, hey, old school nerd, what do you think I could have done at the end of the song to make it funny? I would have said, when this happens, walk into the frame with the clothes you're wearing, with a clear raincoat on, button it up, and put an axe over your shoulder and walk off. That would have been the ultimate. That would have been a double whammy of pop culture. I think that this song could easily be one of his fan favorites in the future shows. Because, you know, as they go on tour, there's always songs that everyone wants to hear. And they shout them out. And Leo's like, we got to do this one because everyone knows it. Everyone loves it. This is one of those classic songs that everyone's going to be identified with. Ghostbusters, Pokemon, Power Rangers, Thriller. You know, it's just one that everyone kind of knows. It's a good one. Outstanding, Leo. Let's go to the outro. <laughs> oh, it's tour time, baby. There you go. He announced this list of tour stops on his social media earlier this week, but here you go. If you're lucky enough to live in Europe and you can get to one of these venues and you can get tickets, enjoy the show. Frog Leap always brings the love. They bring the metal. It's a great show. I've seen videos of shows. I hope to one day get to see one live. It's on the bucket list. It really is. So um, I'm going to play the list. If you, if you live in any of these countries, you have no excuse. I've shared the list. There you go. Frogloopstudios.com. Check out. that He's got all his stuff there. You can't really miss it. Plus, I'll put all the other links that Leo has for different social medias in the description below. Please check them out there. My name is Old School Nerd. It's YouTube Content Creator Friday, which means we're always rocking the Leo Maracchioli. That was a lot to say in one breath. Whew, I got to go walk this off. Go ahead. You can go. It's Friday. You don't have something to do? Really? Here, there, and everywhere. Hip, hip, so hip to be square.